Hi guys, since I've had my computer a few months now, I've been having a few problems with my motherboard. This is my motherboard. It's the Gigabyte GA970A UD3P. Mine is the Rev2. Um, now the main problem that I want to talk about with this motherboard is this dual boot problem. Now for those who don't know what a dual boot problem is, um, it's basically when the computer tries to turn on, doesn't post, uh, and then just turns back on and boots normally. It looks like this. It's not a very good thing to have. I believe most of the Gigabyte motherboards do this. This isn't the only problem I've been having with this motherboard. Um, I've also been experiencing blue screens, uh, audio problems, and I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. That's all I have to say about it. Get get something else like an Asus or an ASRock one because this one I, it's just bad so back to this double boot problem I have finally found a way to fix this after looking on loads of different blogs different sites I finally fi found what works I'm gonna show you to do this I need to record with my tablet so I'm um, sorry if the quality is poor. The first thing you need to do is go into your BIOS and then go to advanced frequency settings and then go to advanced CPU core features. Now in here you need to turn on core performance boost by clicking the plus sign on your keyboard turn that on to auto now in the CPB ratio you need to set that to whatever number is up here your core clock ratio your CPU clock ratio so mine is um, the standard 17.50 after you've done that you can press escape and then exit out of your BIOS by pressing F10 save and exit now watch what happens when I turn my computer on alright guys we're back on PC and as you can see that fixed my problem so if you're experiencing this then I'd recommend trying this because I'm sure this will work for you and I was looking for ages for this fix I had seen it a few times on some sites I tried it and it didn't work and that's because I had C I had CPU unlock enabled and you've got to have it disabled for this to work so keep that in mind I wanted to make this video to help you guys who can't find a fix because I can't find many YouTube videos about this subject this double boot problem I hope I've helped a lot of you if you guys have any friends that are having this problem then be sure to share this video with them because I want to help as many people as possible because this is an annoying problem and I'm happy that they finally fixed it I have uh, another channel called YOLO gaming so I'll put the link in the description and that's my gaming channel if you want to see any benchmarks go to that uh, channel if you want to see a new video on something like overclocking if you're finding that hard 
or any of you want to know anything about it then put it in the description below but i don't think i'll be doing any more videos thanks for watching bye